Thank you, Madam Chair. Today marks a day that we can say we are one step closer to dignity and respect for all of our citizens, including those with disabilities. This is because of the hard work of this House and thanks to the true leadership of the Dutch Presidency, which understood that this piece of legislation is vital. Europe is now not only at the cusp of a digital revolution, we are in the middle of it. It is the policy of the Union that every sector, both private and public, should be digital. That by going digital, we will renew growth in Europe and make life easier for our citizens. If our digital services are not accessible to all of our citizens, we are not helping them. We are holding many back and introducing new barriers. There are more than 80 million Europeans with a disability. As we age, every one of us will have either a temporary or permanent disability at some point. This is as true for those digital natives among us as it is for those born before the Internet. Making digital information accessible is as much in our own individual interest as that of society as a whole. I am proud that as of tomorrow, web accessibility will be the law of the land in Europe. Every government website, and maybe more important, every government application will have to be accessible. This law applies not only to public, but also to internal government websites, meaning it will help the millions of government employees with disabilities and help open new job opportunities for others. This law means that all online and digital forums and all payment systems will have to be accessible. It will end the outlandish situation where we require people to pay their taxes online only to create a website that not all people can use. Today, we are saying that e-government must be open and service all citizens, and for this reason, I am proud. Now, is this the final step? No, Mr. Commissioner, it is not. There are still some limitations to making this law proportional. But if something is not accessible, governments will now be accountable to give a clear reason for why it is not, and that reason cannot be that it would simply cost too much. Every citizen will have a right to challenge such a decision. It is also not the last step because the digital world is more than government websites alone. We still need a strong European Accessibility Act that covers both the digital and physical worlds. The Parliament has a good voice for this in my colleague, Mr. Lockegaard. We need to adopt the Accessibility Act as soon as possible. Once adopted, the two combined will mean that we can say that we have served our citizens well and done everything we can to help all of them. I am proud to have my name attached to this legislation and I look forward to its adoption tomorrow. Thank you, Madam President.